foot piece of ribbon you are using to decorate your house. If you cut a four and four fifth piece for the kitchen and then a three and three fourth piece for the dining room, how much will you have left for the living room? So let's take our number 14 and subtract four and four fifths ribbon. And then we're also going to be subtracting five and three fourths from the ribbon. Let's start off by just subtracting these two numbers. So 14 minus 4 and 4 fifths. I'm going to borrow from the 14, leaving 13 feet. And the one that I've borrowed, I'm going to make into 5 over 5. I've chosen 5 over 5 because the denominator on the second fraction is a 5, and this will make it easier to work with. 5 minus 4 is 1, keeping the same denominator, and 13 minus 4 is 9. So after we've cut out a piece for the kitchen, we have 9 and 1 fifths left. Now let's cut out the piece for the dining room. Minus 5 and 3 fourths. The denominators can both be 20 here. So 5 times 4 will give me 20 and 1 times 4 will give me 4. On top I have 9 and 5 and 4 times 5 will give me 20 and 3 times 5 will give me 15. Well the 4 is not big enough to take away the 15 so let's borrow 8 left over, 8 whole, and then 20 new pieces plus the 4 from before now gives me 24. 24 minus 15 is 9 over 20, and 8 minus 5 is 3. So we have 3 and 9 20 feet of ribbon left over for the living room. Let's check our answer. 14 minus about 5 is 9, and 9 minus about 5 is 4, if we're estimating. Another 5 leaves me with, oh, 14. So we start out with 14 whole minus about 5 would give us 9, and then minus about, um, I would say that would be closer to 6, would leave us with about 9 minus 6 is 3. So we have about 3 left over, and that is um, close to our exact answer. So we have an idea that our answer is in the correct range. And remember with word problems that you need to include your unit. And in this case we were talking about feet of ribbon, so we have 3 and 9 20 feet of ribbon left.